Hello, I'm Tristan, and thanks for stopping by my learning hub. Today we are going to be looking at geometry. So now we are going to be looking at the Pythagoras theorem. So first of all, do you remember what the right a right angle triangle is? Well, it has one right angle. So I'll just draw a right angle triangle and say that this is the right angle and it's 90 degrees. A right angle is 90 degrees. So let's say make this side A, this B and this C. The side C has a special name which is the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse of a triangle is the longest side of a right angle triangle and it is also opposite to the right angle. So the Pythagoras theorem states that a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared and this also means that c is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared but this is the main form we'll be using for now okay let's do an example now so let me first draw a right angle triangle and It's not a perfect right angle triangle, but it would do. But um, let's say that this is 3 and this side is 4. So what is this side? Well, it will be, since this is A and this is B, so that will mean 3 squared plus 4 squared is equal to C squared. So C is equal to the square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared which means C equals 5. So this is the 3, 4, 5 triangle which is the most basic right angle triangle. So let's do an, another example. Let me draw now a big right angle triangle. And for this right angle triangle, let's say this side is 13 and this side is 12. So what is this side? Well, since this is C and this is B, so we know A squared plus 12 squared is equal to 13 squared. So A squared is equal to 13 squared minus 12 squared and a is equal to square root of 13 squared minus 12 squared which means a is equal to 5 yay so I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Pythagoras theorem thanks for watching see you next time bye bye